Right, what we're looking at today is this one point perspective drawing. It is 11.9 in the HSE workbook for grade 10s. Um, right, I'm just going to move that down so that we can get this picture all on here. Right, what does a one point perspective drawing look like? I'm going to start with that. Um, here we go. There is a one point perspective drawing of this little house drawn over here. I think the first thing to do is to recognize that it is a 3D drawing. Um, you've done a little bit of drawing of 3D stuff. There is an isometric view of the, uh, the little house. Um, but this type of one-point perspective drawing is not based on an isometric view. It is based more on what they call an oblique view. Here is an oblique view of this building. And you can see that I've drawn out the front of it. And I've got lines going off, well, at 45 degrees over here. And then it goes horizontal again, and then it goes off at 45 degrees, all right? Now, the only difference between this oblique drawing where I'm using these 45 degree angles over here and uh, this one point perspective drawing is that instead of using a 45 degree angle, I'm using lines going off to a vanishing point, um, which gives these, these angled lines going over here. All right, um, little things that I really think you should try and get is the idea of all your vertical lines. Your vertical lines, you're going to find those on this view over here. When you drop those lines down, they are going to be your vertical lines. I've drawn those all in in red. Just remember, if I take a line coming off this view, it's going to drop down vertical. All right, we're going to show you how that's done in a tick. Um, any line that you see that is horizontal over here, anything that is horizontal, you're going to see as horizontal in this view as well. That will make life so much easier if you can just recognize horizontal lines over here, they will be horizontal here as well. Okay, um, there is a small error in the, in the drawing over here. Um, they drew a solid line going across over there, um, but you can see that this part has been, uh, it's at an angle over here, which means that I should have a line going out there, a line going out there, um, and this line over here that they drew shouldn't actually be there at all. Um, what I would like you to do is just to take a pair of dividers quickly, um, draw a line going up over there, measure off that distance over there, place that down on your drawing, mark that position and draw a line going out there and draw a line going out there. That will be then correct and we can use that. Okay, let me draw this drawing. Um, and hopefully at the end, you will be able to draw it as well. Right, to start with, what do we need? Well, I'm going to start out and I'm going to find my vanishing point on my horizon line. My horizon line is above the object, which means that I'm going to PC, be able to see the top of the object. How do I do that? I take a line, a construction line going up to my horizon line, and I find a vanishing point there, VP label it nice and clearly. Okay, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start with drawing this front portion of the house over here. I come along here, there is the front of the house, it is touching the picture plane, and I'm going to drop lines coming down. Let me just drop lines coming down from the picture plane. Okay, Anything touching the picture plane, I can draw it immediately in dark lines um, and that will be <coughs> in place. You'll see now as I draw this, I'm just going to take the door down. There's my door and I can now draw that in dark. Horizontal line. Remember what I said, it's a horizontal line. I will be able to get draw it as horizontal in my drawing. All right, I need to go across over here. Let's just take a line coming across from the top over there. And I can find that point over there. I can find the height over there. And I can now draw in angled line over there. It's not done at 45 degrees, people. It's um, 
definitely not a 45 degree angle or a 30 degree angle or a 60 degree angle. You get the height to the center mark, which came from there, and then you join that and that. Right, let's just pull that in and draw that in. Right, my next step is to take lines going out to the vanishing point. I'm going to take a line from the top of the roof going across there. I'm going to take a line coming from the corner over there. I'm going to take a line coming from that corner over there, all to the vanishing point. Right, what do I need to do now? Well, um, from my position that I'm looking over here, I'm looking across at this thing, and I'm going to be able to see that top of the roof part. This part at the back there, I'm not going to be able to see that. I'm going to be able to see that part over there. So what do I need to do? I'm going to take a line from the top of the roof, coming down to the picture plane. And as I said, it gets dropped down horizontally. There it is. And I find a point on the top of my roof. Let me draw that line in nice and dark. There it is. Okay. The corner of this roof, there it is. I'm going to take that down to the picture plane. And I'm going to drop a vertical line straight down. Straight down. And you can see my red line dropping down vertically. There's the line that it came out from. Okay, so there it is. There's my point, and I can now drop a line vertically down. Any lines that you have coming off this are dropping down vertically, and you can normally draw those lines in vertically. What I can now do is draw this line, and draw that line over there. Right. Um, you'll see over here that there is also a window on that wall. There is window one. There is window one over there. I need to get that in on this view over here. Okay, I'm going to find the heights of the window. I'm going to take that across from my window all the way across here. There's the bottom of the window. Take that across from the top of the window. I'm going to take that back. to the vanishing point, and I'm going to take that back to the vanishing point, right? Okay, um, I need to find the sides of that window. How do I do that? Well, I take a line from the window over there down to the picture plane, and I drop that down onto my view. And I can now Darken in that little part over there. Darken that in. Go to that side of the window. Draw a line going down to the stationary point. Drop it vertically down over here. And draw that little piece of the window in. Once I've got that, I can draw in the base of the window and the top of the window. Right. Okay, my next thing is to recognize that this part of the house is going out and I said it was horizontal. So from those two corners over there, I'm going to draw some lines going out horizontal. There we go. Line going out horizontal from that corner and a line going out horizontal from that corner. Right. How far across does this thing go? Well, how do I find that? I find that corner over there. And I draw a line coming down from it onto the picture plane. I drop that down. And I can now draw in a line linking up those two horizontal lines. There and there. I also have the top of the roof. I'm going to draw the top of the roof. It is also horizontal, it's horizontal. So I draw a line going out, horizontal, and I find the point, that point on the top of the roof. So I do that, take that down to the stationary point, Cut, crosses over the picture plane, and I drop that down, 
until it meets that line that's coming out horizontal. I then draw a line going from there to there. Oh, sorry, from there to there. That's the point that I need. Where it touches over there, just overshot the mark horribly. Rub that out quickly. Okay, and what I can do now is I can draw a line going from that corner of the wall up to the top of the roof at that funny slant. Okay, um, right, you'll also notice that I've got a window over there. You'll note that the window heights over here, that window, that window and that window, they are all at the same height. Let me just draw those lines. There you go. There you go. They're all at the same height. Now I've got the height over here on this wall. I took that across and you see it links in over there. And then I've got these lines going across horizontal. So I can take lines going across horizontal over there and horizontal over there. Let me find the window. I need to take lines coming down to the stationary point. There it is. And drop that down onto the window. And I can now draw my window in. Here's the edge of the window. Take a line coming down to the stationary point from the other side of the window. There it is. Drop that down and draw in that side of the window. Once I've got that, I can now draw in the base of the window, horizontal, base of the window, horizontal. Remember, those lines are horizontal, therefore it's going to remain horizontal in this picture over here. Okay, my last step is to do this side of the, the house over here. I'm going to take lines going out to the vanishing point again, out to the vanishing point there, from that corner, out to the vanishing point over there, from that corner. Find this corner over here by taking a line going down to the stationary point, goes down to the stationary point, crosses over the picture plane, and I drop that down vertically, and I can now draw in that piece of the wall over there, or that corner of the wall. I can draw in a line going from there to there. I can draw a line going from there to there. And lastly, I can draw a little line linking up the top of that roof with the corner of that wall. Okay, I need that window. I said to you that the window had the same height all the way around. There's the heights of the window. You can see it's going back there goes horizontal and now it's going to go back to the vanishing point again. Take a line going back to the vanishing point. Take a line going back to the vanishing point. Find the window up here. Take a line going from the edge of the window over there. Drop that down vertically. Draw in the line on the drawing. Go to the other side of the window. Draw a line down to the picture plane. Drop a line down vertically. Draw in the line. And finish off your little window over there. And there you go, you've got that. There's one last little line. You can see there's a line that goes up there. So we need to put in that line as well. And you will get that definition on that roof. Right, that is the drawing done. I hope that helped.